your machine shop and you don't know what coolant to use with what material, look no further. Because joining me today is Ian from Rollcall, and Ian, you're going to tell us which to use. Yeah, so some cutting fluids look very similar, some look, you know, really different, but they all perform differently, that's the key thing. So even though they look the same, don't be fooled. So we got two, what, we, what we, the, the industry would call white milkies here, but totally different products. One is a multi-purpose, uh, you would use this in a, a lot of the oil and gas industry, so ink and oil, stainless steels, but I also do aluminium as well because it's got a bit of a lubricity package in there. But sitting right next to it here, it looks very similar, but this is purely for aluminium. So this would be somebody who was just, you know, machining solely aluminium normally. So yeah, then we have sort of the semi-translucent, uh, semi-synthetics. These tend to be cutting and grinding, much higher diluting. So yeah, I think we said before that, you know, they'll all cut to degree. It's just getting the right one for the right application. So you're absolutely right. They look identical. Yeah. So fundamentally, you can't give us away all your trade secrets, but how do they look different? You know, what, what's fundamentally different to those two coolants? Well, the formulation, what's going on behind what you see is what's delivering mm. the performance. So, you know, as I say, they may look similar, but the, the formulation will change. There will be different types of additives in there. The dilutions can be different as well. Again, they look very similar to, to the naked eye, but you know, this will be diluting at 40 to 1, this will be diluting about 20 to 1. So, you know, they may look the same, but don't be fooled. Sure. So obviously, if you're a general subcontractor, there's a good chance you're going to need a general purpose coolant. But maybe, how about if I'm doing 80% aluminium and 20% of the time I'm doing a bit of stainless, a bit of ink canal, some other materials, should they be going for an aluminium one or should they be going for a general purpose if the majority of their machining is aluminium? Ah, so, so this is the key about specifying a cutting fluid, okay? And what we always say at Rockall is we, we, you have to specify in the customer's needs. Don't specify on, on cost because that is going to ultimately cost the customer more money in the long run. Mm -hmm. So you're absolutely right. You have to look at those percentages and then you make an informed choice with the customer. So is your driver tool life? Is your driver sump life? Is it everything? And then you just have to find the right product. So... Yeah, we, we like to have an open, frank conversation with the end user and make sure they're making an informed choice. But you, you, you know, you base it on what the biggest driver is for the customer. Mm -hmm. And just finally, they look identical. So what would happen if you topped up with this one and you were using that one, essentially contaminating the coolant? Yeah, it's not going to contaminate it. These particular examples that you're pointing out, they come from the same family of products. So they are going to go on top of each other's. And they will go on top of competitors' products as well. What we would do is we do a compatibility test at our laboratory. So we would be testing to see that we're compatible. It's, you know, Utopia is always getting the full clean out, getting your product in there. Who's got the time to change 20 CNC machines or 30 or 40 machines? Mm -hmm. So we run a mm -hmm. programme called Easy Switch, which basically allows the customer to change over without any downtime. There we are. Sounds good because obviously time is money. Machine machine shops, they, they, they need to cut, cut metal to make money. Um, so just finally, how can people find out more about your products and obviously your service packages? Yeah, you can go online at uh, rocall.com. You can find us on LinkedIn. You can give us a call. You can email me. Uh, yeah, just put Rocall into the search engine and you'll find us. There we are. So if you want to find out more about coolant and in fact, Rocall coolant, get in touch with the experts.